Because my pain was too severe, the attorney said, hearing stories about people who were healed through your offering pain will give you strength. So he brought another young man who had suffered from depression and an eating disorder, rendering him unable to eat anything. So he lost a lot of weight and almost reached the point of death. In October, when I visited the Philippines, as I couldn't afford to give gifts of regular rosaries to all participants, I distributed the knotted rosary of love that I had prayed over in front of the Blessed Mother statue along with the scapulars. The attorney put one of the knotted rosaries of love and the one decade rosaries which I had consecrated to the statue of the Blessed Mother on the young man's neck. He was healed at that very moment. Dear all, how happy we are. How great happiness it is for us to pray together at the Blessed Mother's Chapel and the mountain, where Jesus and the Blessed Mother are alive, appeared, and are present. This happiness must be felt in our hearts. The man, healed and brought to me, rejoiced like a baby while hugging me and shedding tears. Then later, I couldn't get up, despite needing to deliver messages at that time. Then the attorney brought another man to me. His name was Eli Sison, a pianist. He suddenly developed a brain tumor, rendering him unable to see. While driving, his vision blurred abruptly. He was taken to the hospital through 911 and discovered that the brain tumor had widely spread causing him to lose his sight. As a result, he became blind. He continued to visit the hospital for treatment. The brain tumor affected his legs, causing a limp, and he also lost the use of his hands. As a pianist, he couldn't perform any task. Playing the piano requires the hands to move, and sight is essential. If he had been blind from birth, he might have played well even with his eyes closed. But since he was not originally blind, he couldn't do so. His hometown was in Bacolod. When I went to Bacolod in October, I was supposed to deliver the messages. As I came out after delivering the message with my agonizing body, there was a lot of commotion. Oh, there must have been another miracle. Then I entered my room. That's when the attorney brought the blind man and informed me that he had suffered intensely due to a brain tumor, rendering him unable to do anything and in critical condition, but he was completely healed. Dear ones, think about it. Only those who have been blind know the pain. 
I too experienced it by participating in the suffering of the Blessed Mother, unable to open my eyes for five days. At that time, the Blessed Mother said, I cannot look at this world with my eyes open. There were also periods when I couldn't speak for an extended time. Communication was possible only through writing, but with impaired vision, I couldn't do so. If my eyesight had already dimmed from my earlier times, even just slightly, it might have been less inconvenient. But with my normal vision suddenly going completely blind, I was unable to do anything without assistance. Similarly, when the pianist lost his sight, what could he do? There is a place called Green Belt Church in Manila. When I was delivering messages there in October, he attended and truly repented. His eyes opened. Not only did his eyes open, but his hands, which he couldn't move, were also stretched out. The person who used to walk with difficulty could now walk properly. He could even run. What a joy! Upon his return to his hometown, witnessing him in a normal condition, the crowd erupted into excited chatter. They had believed he would have died long ago, yet here he is, alive and well. He wasn't just any pianist, he was a very famous one. Hence, everyone in his hometown knew him. They believed he had died of a fatal disease. So when he returned alive and normal, everyone was in shock. They couldn't believe it and sought confirmation by touching him, etc. So he wrote a thanksgiving song out of joy for his healing when I kissed his ailing part. I used to touch more seriously ill people in a similar manner. The song went, Oh my Julia, oh my Julia. He sang it beautifully wherever I went and even Filipinos were learning it. But I said to them, never do it. You should not because it is the Lord who will be fully glorified. Consequently, they stop. Oh my Julia, oh my Maria. Instead of singing, Oh my Julia, they began singing, Oh my Maria, your smile of love is like nothing else in the world. It's not appropriate to attribute such things to me. That's what the Blessed Mother deserves.
had you If there is anything at all That I want more than this It is your kiss There is that one thing that I However, whenever I went there, he always played the piano and sang that song. I asked, please don't do that. And the Filipinos stopped. Everyone was learning eagerly. Thus, the one who will receive glory solely is the Lord, and it is the Blessed Mother. There is nothing that Julia did. If Julia smiled beautifully and made you happy, it is the Lord and the Blessed Mother who did it. <laughs> if I frowned and offended you, it was Julia who did it. <laughs> then it was what the Lord did. <laughs>